Good day dear students our lesson for today is all about common communicable diseases. For our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson the students should be able to Describe common communicable diseases. Identify the signs, symptoms and effects of common communicable diseases. Diseases caused by viruses. 1. Dengue fever. This disease is caused by the dengue virus which transmitted by a mosquito carrier, the Aedes aegypti through its bite. A person with dengue fever is advised to take paracetamol or acetaminophen to reduce fever and alleviate pain. Pain relievers should not take as some of them can only increase bleeding complications. A person who has dengue fever should stay in a hospital where he can be monitored and properly cared for by health professionals. The following are symptoms of dengue fever. Sudden high fever, vomiting, nausea, fatigue, severe headache, pain behind the eyes, joint and muscle pain, skin rashes appears two to five days after the onset fever, nose bleed or bleeding of gums, decrease in blood platelet counts, two, common colds. This is an infection of the upper respiratory tract, particularly of the nose and throat that is commonly caused by the rhinovirus. There are some colds that caused by allergy. Common colds are usually caused by viruses and are oftentimes harmless. The symptoms of a common colds are as follows. Runny nose. Scratchy throat. Frequent sneezing. Getting enough rest. Drinking plenty of fluids. Finding ways to relieve nose congestion and taking medications for colds are some of the things that you can do to help you feel better. 3. Seasonal Influenza. This illness is caused by the influenza virus that results to a viral infection that affects the nose, the throat and the lungs. It spreads easily and can affect people in any age. The usual symptoms of a seasonal influenza are as follows. Sudden onset of fever, dry cough, headache, joint and muscle pain, sore throat, runny nose. Influenza usually goes away on its own except for the elderly, children and sickly people. Annual flu shots can help prevent seasonal flu. 4. Chicken pox. Chicken pox or varicella is caused by the varicella zoster virus or VZV. It is highly contagious and easily spread through close contact or exposure to an infected person. It can be prevented by vaccination. The symptoms for chicken pox are the following. Fever. Severe discomfort. Red spots or blisters. 5. Measles or known as rubiola is caused by a virus of the genus Morbillivirus which can spread easily through air and direct contact. It is common among young children. The virus inflects the respiratory tract first, then spreads throughout the body. The common symptoms of measles in its initial stage are the following. High fever that lasts for four to seven days. Runny nose, cough, small white spots inside the cheeks, coplic spots. After several days, rashes will come out and spread out all over the body. These rashes usually last for five to six days. There is no treatment for vaccination but it can be prevented by vaccination. 6. Mumps. This is caused by the mumps virus of the genus Rubulavirus. It is a contagious disease that affects the parotid glands, one of the three pairs of salivary glands. Like measles, mumps can be prevented through immunization. The symptoms of mumps include the following. Fever, headache, muscle ache, loss of appetite, 
swollen salivary glands. The symptoms of mumps appear within two weeks upon infection. Mumps is a virus and does not respond to antibiotics and other medicines. To treat the symptoms, rest and drink plenty of fluids. Avoid acidic food and drinks. Pain relievers prescribed by the doctor. Ice packs are cold. Compress. Diseases caused by bacteria. 1. Tuberculosis TB. This disease is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. It affects the lungs and the bacteria can spread through the air by means of cough, spit or sneeze. When a person has active TB he will have the following symptoms. Fever. Weakness and weight loss. Loss of appetite. Night sweats. Cough with phlegm and blood. Chest pains. Shortness of breath. Tuberculosis is treatable and curable with antimicrobial drugs if taken properly and continuously within six months. 2. Boil. Most boils are skin infections caused by Staphylococcus aureus bacterium. The microorganism enters the body through skin cuts and travels down the hair follicles in the skin. Boils usually appear on the face, neck, armpit, shoulder or buttocks. At the start, the skin turns red in the infected area, then a tender lump begins to form. After four to seven days, the lump starts to turn white as pus is collected under the skin. Sever infection happens if more of these symptoms are observed. The skin around the boil becomes infected. The boil turns red, painful and swollen. More boils appear over the original one. Onset fever. Lymph nodes become swollen. 3. Sty. This disease is commonly caused by the Staphylococcus bacterium which infects the oil gland in the eyelid. Sty does not affect vision usually harmless and heals on its own. Signs and symptoms of sty includes the following. Red lump on the eyelid looks like a pimple or boil. Eyelid pain or swelling. Tearing. Diseases caused by fungi. 1. Ringworm. This is skin disease caused by fungal infection. Its medical term is tinea. The skin condition is named after the infected body part. Some types of ringworms are tinea pedis or athlete's foot and tinea cruris or jock's itch. It starts as red, itchy, scaly and raised patches that may be redder on the outside edges and resembles a ring. This is contagious and can be passed from one person to another through direct contact or by touching the infected surface. Can be treated with the use of antifungal medicines. 2. Athlete's foot or tinea pedis is caused by tinea fungus. When this fungus grows on the feet, a contagious fungal disease that affects the skin on the feet happens. Athletes usually gets this disease. It can also spread on the toenails or hands. A person can get infected through a direct contact with an infected person or by contact with surface contaminated by the fungus. The common symptoms of athlete's foot are the following. Itching, stinging and burning between the toes or the soles of the feet. Itchy blisters on the feet. Cracking obid peeling of the skin between the toes or the soles. Dry skin on the soles or sides of the feet. Discolored, thick and crumbly toenails. Toenails that pull away from the nail bed. Public wet places like shower rooms and swimming pools are common breeding grounds of tinea fungus. 3. Tinea flava. This is also known as an and caused by the yeast fungus malassezia. It affects the surface of the skin and mostly harmless. It becomes a problem once the yeast grows out of control and affects the natural color of the skin. 
The symptoms of an and include the following. Patches that are either lighter or darker in the skin's natural shade. Spots that do not tan the way. Spots that may be form anywhere mostly in the neck, chest, back or arms. Skin diseases can be treated by prescription medicines, cream or lotion that are put on the infected skin. Diseases caused by parasites. 1. Parasitic worms. Roundworms, tapeworms and hookworms are endoparasites, which means they live inside their host's body. They are intestinal parasitic worms that live inside the host's intestines and get nutrients and protections while harming the host's body making it weak. Usual symptoms of the presence of endoparasites includes the following. Weight loss. Fatigue. Poor appetite. Irritability. Abdominal pain. Diarrhea. 2. Pediculosis. Or lice infection is caused by head lice acting as ectoparasites living outside their host's body. Their only host are humans and they feed on their host's blood for nutrients while causing harm. They cause constant itching, making the host feel uncomfortable. If the host scratches the itch constantly, wounds eventually form on his scalp. Thank you for watching in this video and I hope you learned something today. Feel free to like, share and subscribe for more educational content.